Hello YouTube, this is PSP Slimhacks, and today I'm going to show you how you could play your PlayStation 4 system or any other system such as the Xbox One, Xbox 360, and PS3 with this device called Zen 4. Now this device is going to allow you to use your keyboard and mouse uh, and be able to use it as if it was a normal controller on the PS4 and uh, other systems that I mentioned uh, earlier. And uh, what this device does is just simply translates the language of the keyboard and mouse, tricking the PS4 thinking it's the controller, but it's actually the keyboard and mouse. So uh, this this device is really, really good for PC gamers such as myself. And the only reason why I purchased this is because uh, I recently bought a PS4. And um, the reason why I bought a PS4 is because I could barely find any matches on PC gaming. Like, I love PC gaming. The quality is amazing. But it's just the lack of people using it. So I decided to bring my PC skills into PS4 using a uh, keyboard and mouse because honestly I cannot play I cannot play with no controllers like these these thumbsticks and all that stuff. I can't use I can never have a good aim or anything. So I decided to just purchase this device. And this price and this the the Zen 4, which is the device I'm holding right now. The price tag is not really that good. It's like a hundred and one hundred and twenty-five through one hundred and thirty dollars, brand new. So I, I mean, it's completely fair if it goes sixty dollars. Like I wouldn't mind, but one hundred and twenty is already one hundred and twenty-five through one hundred and thirty is like already outrageous. So, uh, but I just bought it because I had no choice. There's other devices out there such as the Keymander. It's a it's a little bit cheaper. It's like a hundred dollars, brand new. Or 70 or 80 if you could find it but the the only reason why then why I didn't buy it is because uh, I was reading so many reviews saying that there's like a little mouse lag and that little mouse lag gets me killed if I'm playing COD and that little mouse and that mouse that little mouse lag is gonna be get me killed like that so I decided to buy the Zen 4 which had no issues at all so currently right now I bought this one used on eBay and I'm com completely satisfied. This is the best device I ever used for keyboard and mouse on on a console. is is really really good, guys. So I'm just gonna go like a little overview on the device, uh, like the features that it that it has. So you're gonna see that that it's gonna have like bumps right here, which indicates a number. I don't know why it didn't write an done an actual number, but oh well. So this one has one bump, two bumps, three bumps, and all these are USB ports and there's a micro SD and a, a Bluetooth button. So uh, the the first bump, that's where the mouse is going to be connected. Um, oh, hold up. Let me let me put the Zen 4 in the middle for you guys. The second bump, that's where the keyboard is going to be connected. I'm just going to flip around. The third bump, that's where the USB for the, for the controller is going to be connected. And there's going to be a C right here. That C, that's where you're going to be connecting the micro SD to the Zen 4. And then you're going to connect the other con the other side of the connection to the PS4. And the Bluetooth button is that way you'll be t able to turn on the Bluetooth on or off. That way you'll be able to program your your keyboard layout and and doing what WASD does right here on, on the actual keyboard. I mean on the actual controller. So yeah. And um, and just beware. I already, I think I already mentioned the, the price tag. Just beware if you go to eBay and Amazon. There's gonna be some people that are gonna try to rip you off, like, like already like horrible, like horrible pricing. They're gonna say that it's 180 dollars through 200 dollars, which is completely insane. Uh, Zen4 is not paying me to do this video because uh, well, I don't know why, but I'm just doing this video for you guys. Because I already know that you guys, uh, some some of you guys want are PC gamers and want to play uh, keyboard and mouse on on the PS4. So this is the only way to do it, guys. The Zen 4, the Keymander, but I'm using the Zen 4 because I think it's a lot better. And um, and the like I said before, they're gonna there's gonna be some people that are gonna try to rip you off. So if you go to the Zen 4 website. They're going to be $125 through $130 brand new. So I'm going to have the link in the description below. Please, if you're going to buy it, please buy it from there because you're just going to get completely ripped off on eBay or on Amazon. Oh, one more note, guys, before uh, before I give you the gameplay. Uh, if you're using a PS4 controller such as me, 
and when you have your and when you have your controller connected to the Zen 4, I'm just gonna let you know that um the touchpad for the PS4 is not gonna work like the actual sensitivity is not gonna work. I'm pretty sure the the button does. And if you always connect your headset to your controller, you have to buy a USB uh uh audio dongle for the for you could connect your headphones there. So you just buy the USB and just connect it right here in the USB ports of the PS4. Uh, it's only like five dollars, but anyways, yeah, that's the downside of of using a a PlayStation 4 controller with the Zen 4 because of uh, the touchpad and the audio. But other than that, there's no other problems. But anyways, let's go to a gameplay. All right, guys. So uh, this is not even a gameplay. This is I'm I'm in the lobby by myself. I'm just gonna show you like the actual uh, keyboard commands and all that. Like you can completely program any key you want to the Zen 4 that allow you to use the left and right and everything so um so currently i have it like if it was a real pc or uh, gaming machine i have it as w like if you press w it's gonna go forward as you can see i'm holding it uh i'm just gonna look at my iphone because i'm sick in the video right there if i can see if i have a good angle for you guys so uh i think right there should be good as you can see i'm pressing it and then moving forward press uh S, I'm um, going backwards, D, I'm pressing right, A, I'm going left, and all that. Uh, the space bar is to jump and all that. It's, it's exactly the same as PC gaming. Uh, escape uh, to get out of game and, and all that. And the sensitivity of the mouse movement, hopefully I got a good angle right there. If you look at the screen, it's really good. But the only thing uh, I notice about the ma the mouse movement, if you're a PC gamer and you have your DPI settings high, you're gonna see a big difference once you come to uh, using the Zen 4 because the Zen 4's uh, max DPI uh, is not gonna feel the same. It's not gonna feel as fast. But I mean, eventually you're gonna get used to it. So it's like if you if you, this only applies to the gamers that have high DPI settings. Like me, I have it normal. But right now I have it high the Zen 4 can handle and I, I love it. It's, it's like perfect for me and uh, the shootings on the aiming, melee, grenades, kill myself, whatever. But yeah guys, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the, su the support guys from, from my other previous tutorials and all that. And hold up, just let me get out of here. Let me stop the noise. But anyways, guys, thank you for so much for watching. Thank you for all the love and the support. Uh, please comment, like the video, and subscribe for more uh, PC videos, PS4 videos, any videos that I have uh, in mind for you guys. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Oh, one more thing. If you guys are interested on my setup right now, like like I upgraded. Uh, if you watched my previous setup, uh, there's going to be uh, like big differences, like um, especially on my computer because I bought no parts for it and my keyboard and mouse if you guys are interested to see the outdated video uh the link is going to be like somewhere around this um somewhere around this uh there's going to be a notation right in the middle of the screen you could just click it which is going to directly lead you to my uh my my outdated uh setup but if you guys want another set of video please like the video guys and i'll make the decision the decision uh if i upload one which i probably am like during the summer though and uh if you guys want to see more a more in-depth uh, video on the Zen 4, like how to connect everything, how to program your keyboard and mouse. Again, please like the video, and I will um, and I will make one for you guys and comment below as well. Well, again, guys, thank you, thank you for watching this video. Bye. Mm -hmm.